Uh, what the shit? Oh, hey guys, I'm just, I'm really depressed, okay? You, you guys, you need to understand. This is just, Baruto, I, 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 I used to like it, but I'm just, I'm starting to go through withdrawal, guys. How am I not to enjoy a theory when there's no open toe and flashback? How am I to enjoy it when I can't enjoy the most important thing from all of Naruto? And when I can't enjoy a grown man getting a boner for a 12 year old girl. <laughs> I mean, God, it's, it's so depressing. What do I do without the Obito and Grin flashback? Boruto is just so bad. There's no Obito and Grin flashback, guy. There's no Obito and Grin flashback. How am I all to enjoy a theory when I can't watch Obito? <laughs> oh, okay. So today, we are going to be talking about my thoughts on Boruto as a series so far. I know my Boruto reviews have been pretty inconsistent lately, and allow me to explain why quickly. That's because I just started school and I was still getting into the swinging thing. And then one Wednesday I didn't have power, the next Wednesday I wasn't at my apartment, and the Wednesday before that, there was a lot of stuff going on, and the one Wednesday I forgot, I didn't watch the episode until late at night, but today, I mean this week, I'm gonna start getting back on track with my Boruto and One Piece content, but to be blunt, I missed it, so I figured I would just do this video, talking about my thoughts on Boruto so far. Okay, so... Boruto is good. I feel, as I stated in my Why Boruto Needs to be Lighthearted video, that Boruto is going to get progressively darker as the series goes on, and I'm really liking the stuck with Kagura in the Hidden Myth Village arc. I'm really enjoying Boruto this arc. I think it's really good. I also like how they're setting up why Serata has feelings for Boruto. Because a lot of people complained about Sakura originally was that we had no idea why she loved the Sasuke so much. So you're going to make a major part of Sarada's character, even that she is in love with Boruto, it's great that they're dedicating time to making them become closer. So we can be like, oh yeah, Sarada really loves this guy. I feel bad for Sarada. So we can relate to her situation and feel bad for her. You couldn't relate to Sakura because she wasn't made to be relatable. Well, she was, that was the whole point of her character, but it's very difficult to relate to loving a mass murderer when you don't know why. There was no reason for Sakura to love Sasuke. They're building up a ton of reasons for Sarada to love Boruto. Boruto is really nice to her, they're really good friends, she really admires him, and it, it, you, you're, you're building that up, they're building that up, other characters are mentioning it, and I'll go more into this in my, into, no, I'll go more into this in my Boruto and Serata video I plan on doing, where I talk about that pairing and my opinions of it, but I really like how they're building that up. They're clearly building it up though in a way so Serata's the one that likes the Boruto, Yeah, I don't believe Boruto really likes Serata in the movie. I mean, I think he may have a small crush on her, but definitely not like, Serata was straight up Stalking Boruto in the movie, but um, I also tremendously enjoyed the stuff with the five Kage stomach. I really did. I love how the series is openly acknowledging its own flaws and turning them into flaws. Like, so they're not they're not just having the next generation be a ton of pansies for no reason. That's a plot point. I like that. This makes all the things that we have problems with. It's like, oh wait. The adults have problems with this too. This is an actual in-universe problem that, that they need to overcome. Okay, that's fine. And where it was a lot like how Stalker was really weak in part one and couldn't fight at all. We found that incredibly annoying. Well, guess what? Stalker didn't like it either. It wasn't like they were intentionally trying to annoy us. No, that was a character flaw that annoyed both us as the audience and Stalker as the character. Sakura began training, and then we're all like, hey, Sakura's super strong now, isn't that awesome? 
Now, regardless of your opinion on stock, or if some people don't seem to understand that she's Kage level, probably I'm stronger than most of the Kage, but. I mean, we'll know not. I'm just saying that now, I mean, going off of what they displayed during the war 10, 20, 15 years ago, Sakura stronger than all of them. Like, the only poor Kage I think Sakura could beat is Gara. I meant that could Sakura may have a hard time against Gara. But aside for that, I'm like, I'm sorry, you're just, there's not enough showing. Sakura had some high level faith in her light novel. And the light novels are canon because Akashi knew purple lightning in, in uh, episode 13, I believe. But so I really enjoyed all of that. The wiki of State Stock Room is at the Kage Summit. Don't know why it states that. It states Stock Room with Naruto and Guard. That's not true. They were unpacking boxes in a new house. I also am not a big fan of how they're not adapting Chapter 700. That bothered me. I really wanted to see that final page of Naruto animated where it was like, you know, that boy became known as the 7th Okage, the last final page with a silhouette that is an allusion that is a, you know, a reference to the first ever silhouette of, of a Minato on top of a toad, but it's Naruto on top of a nine tail. I wish they would have done that, or maybe even better, done like a very reanimated variation of the intro where it was like a nine tail fox appeared before Tokage killed it into a baby. That baby became known as the Demon Tokage, and we would cut to Naruto showing his cape or cloak. But we're not doing that because screw it, why not? But uh, I do need to say I'm not enjoying Chocho. I'm, I'm not. Chocho is really annoying to me. I don't. Hate her. She's definitely more bearable in this than she was in the manga. Okay. Show show in the manga because you didn't know what was happening was the most front. There was also because the manga was more rushed if you compare them, guided and anime more drawn out and fleshed out. But it was so bad, guys. It is so, so bad. I mean, it's really bad writing. I mean, in the, in the guide, and in, in this show shows the character, she's really annoying. Her, her thing about boys is just... What's it? And you want to make a female character boy crazy? Fine. There are women like that. There are girls show shows age that only care about boys. I am fine with that. But don't make them boy crazy. In the incredibly obnoxious way, Cho Cho. <laughs> because it's not the girl who does it, but Roto does it. Cho Cho is not your boyfriend, yo. Cho Cho goes around and looks at men, and she picks and chooses which ones are good enough for her. And it is incredibly annoying. Like, Cho Cho, you like. Like, when she. Like, uh. The guy, Kagura. Kagura. But she's like, Kagura's handsome and super strong and manly. I think he may be the right one, but I'm like, Chocho, you just met him. Stop. It's annoying. You do this with every interesting male character that showed up in this show. And honestly, I don't think you deserve any of them because you didn't. No, I'm not saying she's useless. She is. Chocho is an Akamichi. She's strong. But I, I look at Chocho and you kind of, kind of just shake my head like, no! No! Wrong! Wrong! Chocho can go to hell. I do not enjoy Chocho. Um, I want to bring up that I've been thinking a lot about the flash forward in the beginning. And I honestly don't think the flash forward is the final battle. I think that, I think a lot of people are thinking that. Um, I'd like to remind you all of episode one of Naruto Shippuden. Where we saw when you saw it, it began, I believe, with Sakura opening a door. It was, yeah, it was Sakura. You didn't see you, you didn't see Naruto. It meant focused on Sakura at the very beginning, but there was Sakura running around. She ran into that clearing. Sake blew it up. Then we saw Sakura, you know, staring at Sake. She was like, Sake. You know, she, she whispered his name. Then Naruto showed up. Him and Naruto had the encounter. He destroyed, he destroyed the nine tails and chakra for him inside of Naruto's head. Because Naruto was weakened for using the four tails. And all of that nonsense. 
But that was only into the second arc. But the, I don't be they wouldn't show us the final battle. So this is not whatever we're worth seeing is probably like around the middle of after the time skip. It's probably not too far down the road, alright? After whatever time skip we get. Or who knows? Maybe maybe we get a time skip. Uh yeah, after whatever time skip we get. But we're not Nara who dead is a whole nother discussion. I did do a video about a year ago on the death of Team 7, a theory I have. I will also be doing a video on the Hokage candidates. I'm not gonna go into that now, but I'll go into that in another video and you should be getting in like a week or so. I'm not really sure. But the point I wanna make here is that I'm really gonna clear that Nick and Nathan, that was not the final battle. I refuse to believe that. But um what else have I been enjoying? Well, as I said, Serata's been great. I really enjoy how Serata says what she thinks, what she thinks to people. But it, 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 to, a lot of people say she's like Sakura. She isn't. And let me just explain something. Um, Saku and Sakura were both assholes when they were children. <laughs> like, I, they're seeing a lot of people, because, and I don't blame them for this, there is some, because there's a lot of Sake bias. They're biased for both parents, but they're positive Sasuke bias and negative Sakura bias. And a lot of people are putting all the assholeness and throughout on Sakura. I'm like, do you really not remember that Sasuke used to call used to call Naruto a loser? And he meant it? Sasuke meant that. Sasuke thought Naruto was a loser. He he called Sasuke. Let's go over the list of Sasuke things Sasuke did just in episode one. He called Naruto a loser. <laughs> refer to not when referring to Naruto and Sakura, he said, "Just don't slow me down." And then they were, you know, making it clear he thinks they're inferior to him. Um, he called Sakura annoying. I mean, now Sakura was annoying, but there's guess what? There's a really annoying kid in my class at school. I'm not going to tell him he's annoying. You don't. Tell people they're annoying, even if they are annoying. You don't. Not the way Sake did Sakura. That was me. Sake was an asshole. And yeah, Sakura was kind of an asshole too. But you know what? Sakura grew up. Sake didn't. But that's not for this video. The point is, and that's the Rada's asshole is from both of them. And I don't mind it one bit. Because the way Sarada does it, I feel works for her character. I. I truly feel the way Serata insult people works because she's very blunt. She's very she says her opinion, but she's also very caring. Like one of my you know, when her and Boruto aren't arguing, like the when her and Boruto are standing in front of the ocean together. It's a yeah, she's like, give me the food, but she's also like thank you. Like she's really, really nice and it works. But at the end of the day when she at the end of the day, Serata is a really nice girl. And that's the difference. Sake and Sakura, at the end of the day, we're, we're not the greatest people. Serata's a really nice kid. And yeah, I mean, so that's about all I'll say on Serata. I'll go more in depth with her character in my Serata discussion that will be coming up in a couple of months. But yeah, I really enjoy talking about Boruto. I know I haven't been doing the greatest with it. Listen, I've only been in school for a month. I'm just getting the swinging thing. Understanding, like last year I had more, I had less homework. So now I could do more videos during the week. I had to get back on to making my videos on the weekend. I just was, I was trying to figure out when I could and couldn't do things. Half my class was away on a trip, so I couldn't do that. And yeah, so now that I know what I'm doing, and I'm recording a ton of videos, and a lot of videos will probably be um how, how do I say it? A lot of videos are probably going to be in a weird format. Like it'll be like this. They'll be videos like this webcam videos, but every once in a while, I'll have a really good video edited that's like videos and images like my green video. And the next one's gonna be on Fairy Tale. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I've really been enjoying Boruto lately. I mean, I just wanted to give a brief overall thought of what I've thought so far. Um, yeah, and maybe the field trip arc is interesting, as I said. I did like seeing May again, seeing my May, whatever her name is again. It was nice. Um, yeah, so my Boruto review will be back to normal next week. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll blow it off, guys. Have a great day.